What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and today we're taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Avalanche 338 GK. And I really love this floor plan layout here. This is going to be a great couples coach option or something, maybe if you have like one kid because it does have the pull out sofa, but really like they do your TV on the camp side here. So the TV on the inside of the RV is on this side, which is going to give you an outdoor kitchen and this is going to stay under 40 feet in total length as well. Really nice layout, lots of countertop space in the kitchen with a little bar area with some bar stools. So it is really neat, really excited to show it to y'all. So let's go take a look. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all, so again, this is a 2022 Keystone Avalanche 338 GK, and you will be able to see the specs and the floor plan layout on the screen, but I'm also going to go over to the sticker on the side of the RV and get the exact um, units here for this specific model that we're looking at. You have the dry weight on here at 12,860 pounds, which is going to have a 2,029 pound cargo carrying capacity there, it's going to get you a gross vehicle weight rating of 15,500 pounds. So definitely going to be safe for a one ton truck, um, debatable with a, with a three quarter ton truck, like a 250 or 2,500 diesel um, pulling something like this. That's definitely getting pretty dang close to the threshold there, but definitely easily towable with a one ton. So like a 350 or a 3,500 on this Avalanche here. And Avalanche has definitely been moving its way up in popularity, especially after the release of that 390 DS floor plan. That's that dual suite with the loft and a second full uh, bathroom. So that's two full bedrooms, two full bathrooms and a loft. Avalanche was the creator of that floor plan there that has been incredibly popular, which has definitely put them on a lot of people's radar. And there's a lot of other reasons why as well that we're gonna talk about. Real quick, before we go through everything, I do wanna point out this here, cause I noticed this as I was walking out here, we just got this Avalanche in and you can see there's a um, kind of scratch right there that had to have probably happened in the transport process of getting this RV down here. So that's something that we will definitely get taken care of and make sure that that looks perfect and pristine before this actually leaves. But I did want to point that out because it's pretty hard not to notice that there. So that is something that we will make sure to get taken care of on this unit here that we're taking a look at. But this is the only one that I have here on my lot right now and I'm really excited to look at it because I think it's a great option for people looking to either camp in a fifth wheel or definitely live in a fifth wheel. Maybe if it's just a couple with the layout in here, I think it's really, really neat. And then the Avalanche here, before we get um, going through the outside and the inside, I just wanna explain a little bit about them because they are a 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel that is a full profile fifth wheel. So full profile fifth wheel, meaning that it's going to have a straight roof line going all the way up to the front cap there. So no slant going down into the bedroom. And then you have a dropped frame up front down underneath here, the frame is dropped, giving you bigger storage compartment doors. You have the hydraulic auto leveling on here, which with those legs, they sit wider than like a mid profile fifth wheel. Uh, I don't have a mid profile close to me. Oh, there you go. The Sprinter, they have a full profile front cap, but you can see with their leveling system, their stabilizer legs are a lot closer together than on a full profile fifth wheel. So more stable as well. And the way this Avalanche is set up, it is the little brother to the Alpine right next to it here. So they both have the same look on the inside, the Alpine and the Avalanche. The Alpine just comes with more features than an Avalanche, even though they are built pretty much identical and have a lot of the same look on the inside. The Alpine just has more features in it. They have a couple different floor plan options that Avalanche doesn't have. Avalanche has a couple floor plan options that Alpine doesn't have. And this here puts this in an even more competitive price range for a full profile, 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel than even something like the Alpine. Um, so this is really a popular option, especially for people looking to save a bit of money versus going up to like the next step up in a fifth wheel, even though this is still offering a lot of the same quality 
and uh, feel on the inside as far as how big it is. So just wanted to explain all that real quick. And as we start walking around the outside, trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, but you got the big hitch vision plate up here. So this is going to allow you to look through your rear view mirror, see how the hitch is lining up with your pin box there. So that's a patented keystone technology there where you can see that. You have your LED docking light strips there. And then you have this rotating road armor pin box. Oh, the other thing that I want to talk about too real quick is the, um, regarding pricing, in the last couple of weeks, I've been able to get my customers some of the most aggressive pricing I have seen in the past two years. So one thing that is going on right now across the industry is this being a 2022 model, all of the RV manufacturers have a bunch of 2023s ready to go and ready to send out. But as you can see our lot here, we don't have a whole lot of room for anything to come in here. Like we are full. So there is some amazing pricing going on right now. If you are interested in something, we need to get rid of these 2022s to make room for 2023s. So there's a lot of incredible pricing going on right now. So keep that in mind as well. If you are interested in a fifth wheel and just looking for a great deal, there's definitely a lot of great opportunities out there right now to get a great price that literally might not have even been able to be gotten just a couple months or a couple weeks ago. So that's really awesome as well, for especially from the consumer side for y'all. Coming down underneath here, you have all of your hydraulic controls here. You have your inverter there for the um, refrigerator, and then it has a 30 amp solar charge controller. So that is also working with the solar system there where you have the 400 watts of solar on here. And then you have your battery disconnects in here and your inverter on and off switch there. So all of your controls in that compartment and then underneath here, just a big open storage space down in here. And you do have your 50 amp power cord down in there as well. We'll go around this side first and right here is going to be your auto leveling control. So this panel will open up there. I think it's locked, but all your auto leveling controls will be right in there. Open this up and you have your two 30 pound propane bottles. This is going to be access to your pass through storage compartment. So it has a narrower opening on this side and a wider opening on that side, but a nice big pass through storage compartment area. We'll look at that when we get to the other side of the RV a little bit more. And then you have all your water controls in here. And something that I love about the Avalanche line is if you look at how this is set up here, no slide out box that you have to duck underneath. The door doesn't swing out like this that you have to duck underneath. And actually the slide out box here, this is about six foot five to six foot six off the ground. So a lot less chance of hitting your head walking by there. I know if you've came and looked at RVs on a lot or just me being here every day, I mean, I've hit my head on tons of these things. So I love that this is tall enough that I can walk under and love that your water compartment's underneath here. You don't have to duck under anything to get to them. So you don't have to strain your back for that. For your slide out mechanisms on here, you're going to have a rack and pinion style slide here on the bigger slide out boxes. And then you have the Schwintech slide mechanism on your bedroom slide. And then getting down underneath the RV, this is going to have a fully enclosed underbelly. So all your water tanks and water lines sit above that enclosed portion above the insulation. So your heat ducting that runs through there, whenever you have uh, the furnace running, that is going to also be sending heat into that area to keep your water tanks and water lines warm. And oh, and you have your sewer storage hose compartment area underneath here as well. You do have prep for side cameras. If you wanted side cameras on your RV, it is prep for that. And then when we come down under here, this was the one I knew it. I knew there was one with a spare tire out here and I forgot it was this one. So we're working on getting a, the original tire back on here. The one that came in, it had a flat. So they just have to get that put back on there. But you have the road armor suspension underneath here. So this is a really, really great suspension system from Lippert. This is going to give you a maximum of six inches of travel and those rubber um, bushings on each side, those allow for that shock absorption as you're going up and down the road to be managed there. I'm gonna put a little graphic on the screen that y'all can see kind of how that works and how efficient it is compared to other suspension systems. So a really great suspension system coming straight out of the factory. And then coming back this way, you do have a ladder to get up onto the roof. You have an accessory hitch back here. So this is gonna be a hitch rated for 300 pounds. Let's see. Yeah, 300 pound capacity there, so there's an accessory hitch. And then coming around this side, you have your outdoor kitchen area on this side of the RV. You also have two awnings, so one on the slide out here and one on the other side over your door area. So we'll look at that in just a second. But open this up. And you can see here, 
you have a nice big refrigerator here. So this is the larger size refrigerator. You do have a pull out two burner stove as well. It is the capital stove. And then nice countertop space, all your power controls, TV hookups too, if you wanted to put a TV out here. You have storage in this area as well. L nice LED light strip up here to shine down into this area, plus a light underneath there. And then a pull out drawer here. And then I want to point out as well, even out here, as well as all the other cabinets in an avalanche have soft closed cabinet doors. So you have that on there as well. Let's backtrack real quick and let's go hop up on the roof. Let's get up there and take a look at what's going on on the roof. Uh, also want to note the ladder has a 250 pound maximum capacity. So keep that in mind. Never had or heard of issues of ladders coming off or anything like that, but just keep that in mind with the capacity there. You have the Coleman Mock Q series ACs on here and you do have three ACs on this avalanche and it's coming with a 400 watt solar system. Now something that's really nice about all the Keystone products, you can see it on the Alpine over here with that spot right there, the avalanche right here. These are what the solar panels plug into. So Keystone on these fifth wheels is giving you the second port to add additional solar here already wired in if that's something that you want to do. So this 400 watt solar system, this is not only going to keep your batteries charged, but also going to allow for the outlets that are inverted inside the RV. There's about seven inverted outlets to work off of the battery power that the solar panels are charging. And then if you wanted to expand upon the solar system, all the wiring prep is already done here for those solar panels to just plug in. So that is something that most fifth wheels out there do not have, but Keystone is doing to make sure that you can expand upon that solar system easily if needed. It's three ACs, digital wine guard antenna, fully walkable roof, walkable slide out boxes, and that's pretty much everything up here. So let's hop back down. Have you thought about remodeling an RV? Maybe it's an RV you already own or one that you're looking at purchasing that you feel like is just not 100% what you would want it to be. You need to check out my video then with Courtney who took this Montana 3791RD and made it exactly what she wanted it to be. You can click the little box in the corner to go check that out and it is packed full of information where she tells you how she made this happen. Now Courtney's company, The Flipping Nomad, wants to help teach you how to do this as well. So if you go to theflippingnomad.com, she has two different courses on there right now, both her RV beginners bootcamp and her RV renovation courses. That's a hundred different videos, not only showing you how RVs are built and showing you the construction of RVs from the top down so you know what you're getting into when you're remodeling an RV, but then also show you everything that you need to know when it comes to remodeling an RV and renovating it and doing it the right way. So go to theflippingnomad.com, use the discount code MILES, you'll get 20% off both of her courses there. So use that discount code MILES for 20% off theflippingnomad.com. If you're thinking about renovating an RV, these are must see courses that she has there that are packed full of more information than you're gonna find anywhere else on the internet. So go to theflippingnomad.com, use that discount code MILES spelled with a Y for 20% off and have fun flipping your RV. All right, going around this side, Again, like I was saying, you have your awning that covers this whole portion of the front part of the RV as well. You do have LED light strips up underneath the awnings. So those are going to be illuminating your space underneath the awning space, illuminating your campsite, whether your awnings are in or out. I love that you have the nice long handle here too. You can easily reach it from the ground without having to step up the first step. And then you have your outdoor speakers. Those look like the Jensen outdoor speakers up there as well. Then with your pass-through storage compartment, you do have the slam latch compartment doors. So I'll show you how they'll slam in just a second. You have your big storage space down underneath here. So plenty of room in here. And then the Keystone products, especially with the 400 watt system, they have a lot of stuff already prepped in here to expand upon that solar system if you want to invest in solar. Also want to talk about too, with all your aluminum Framing here, it is welded on both sides of the frame. So every frame point connection in this frame throughout the entire RV is welded on both sides of the frame. Something that not all manufacturers do surprisingly. And then you do have TV hookups in here. So if you wanted to mount a TV to that wall with a slide out mount or a pivoting mount, you can do that there as well. That's how the door slam there so you don't have to clip anything. You have another solar plug here as well. So if you wanted to plug in solar that you would just have standing on the side of the RV, you can plug in solar there as well. And then here you're going to have your battery compartment where we will prep it with one battery at no cost to you. And then if you wanted to add additional batteries, you can do that as well. 
So that is everything on the outside. Again, we have really amazing pricing going on right now, especially trying to get rid of these 2022s so we can make room for 2023s coming in. And before we head inside, I do want to talk about real quick, I am in a sales position, so I do sell RVs and I love when I get the opportunity to help y'all out. And due to y'all coming to purchase RVs for me, I have been gifted with some stuff from Keystone that I want to give away. So this is all stuff that is not purchasable from Keystone. I, don't, I think purchasable is a word, but you can't purchase it from Keystone. This is stuff that they just send out to salespeople. Basically, when you sell an RV, you accumulate points from Keystone. When you sell a Keystone RV, I should say. So you accumulate points from Keystone. You can use those points to purchase stuff off their merchandise store. So I've got some of these things here and I really just want to give them away. I don't feel that I need them. So I wanted to show y'all some of these things here. Um, we have like a big winter jacket right now. I have this in a large and it has a um, warm layer lining in there that can be taken out. So I have this, I have a, another large three quarter zip kind of wool fleece sort of um, not jacket, but sweater there. Not even really a sweater. It's just like a long sleeve shirt. Then this Keystone backpack. This is an insulated backpack there. That's great for camping. Waterproof duffel bag here. So this duffel bag has a ton of space in it and you can actually roll it up and then clip it. And when you roll that up, that is going to make it waterproof. So this is an all of waterproof material there. And then I have this camp table. This is probably my favorite thing. So this camp table has cup holders on all four corners has a spot here that you can put ice and drinks. And then what is really cool about this is this actually folds up into the size of about a camp chair. You know, when you fold up a camp chair and you can put it in like your pass through storage or something like that, this does the same thing. You also have these storage spots on the side. So this gives you a table that you can fit in your pass through storage compartment. And the reason I'm talking about all this is if you purchase an RV from me, I don't really want to keep this stuff. I'd rather give it to y'all. So if you purchase an RV from me, you can pick one of these things here. There are some more things as well. Keystone has like a portable speaker, kind of like a JBL speaker. They have a wireless charging pad. Um, they have some hats and shirts from Keystone as well. But basically y'all can pick something out of here or if there's something else that I might show in another video that I don't have currently on display here. If you purchase an RV from me and you saw this and bring this up, you will be able to take one of these things with you with your RV. And I'm excited to give those away to y'all because like I said, I get these through selling a Keystone RV. So it's really y'all that have allowed me to get this stuff. So I really just wanna give it back to y'all and give you the opportunity to take one of these things here with you. So keep that in mind. This is something that I'm only talking about on YouTube. If somebody just walks in the store and talks to me about it, or if they just see my TikTok or Instagram videos of RVs, not talking about this stuff anywhere else but YouTube. So you have to bring it up to me and mention it to me that you saw that when you purchased your RV for me, because that's something that's exclusive just for this YouTube audience here. So keep that in mind. Now that is everything on the outside of this Avalanche fifth wheel. Let's go ahead and head inside. As we go inside, you're gonna see you have your solid steps here, get real close first step coming in. And then you have the really large top step there. Also a really wide step. You can see how the step goes pretty much all the way to the end of that, um, frame piece that it connects to, which makes it wider than a lot of other fifth wheel brand steps going in. And as we come inside, this does have the polar pack on it. So this is going to be something that has pretty much everything on it you would need to live in it or camp in it comfortably. The only thing it doesn't have compared to like a higher end fifth wheel is the 12 volt heat pads. So if you're concerned about towing the RV in below freezing temperatures with water in the tanks, it does not have the heat pads for that. But you still get heat into the underbelly whenever you have your furnace on to keep those water tanks and water lines warm. So still have all of that. And then you have three ACs on here so easily can keep it cool in the summertime. And it's gonna have everything you need really to be comfortable in here. Now, as we walk around, let's just kind of do a quick walk around here. I love, love, love this floor plan, especially this kitchen layout with the way they did the bar stools here. I think this is a really practical countertop space. I was just talking to uh, my wife yesterday. We were making some food with my little brother who's in town and even in our house that has not as much countertop space as I thought when we initially purchased it. I was like, dang, I think some of the RVs that we have have more countertop space than our house does. And this is definitely one of those models I was thinking of and I was like, this one really has quite a bit of countertop space, especially with this bar top space there. So. Really a fan of this layout. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, one thing they did with the Avalanche for this floor plan, last year, the last model I saw of this that we got in, they actually had the bar stools on this side. So it took up the, your hallway space there. 
and definitely was not a popular model. So they revised it, put the bar stools here, giving you a much better feel walking through the RV. And then these bar stools, because they are in the way of the slide, you can just move them on each side of the table here, or just on one side if you wanna stack them while you're transporting. Another nice thing about this floor plan here is you have your TV and fireplace here. The fireplace will put out heat directly across from your recliners. And when they put the TV on this wall here, a couple things that it offers for you. One, you get the outdoor kitchen. So they're able to build in the outdoor kitchen behind all this space here, which is how you get that outdoor kitchen on your campsite. Whenever you have a fifth wheel with the TV on this side, it's typically not going to have an outdoor kitchen because they then don't have the space to build in that outdoor kitchen somewhere. And then this here, you have your storage up here. Somewhat shallow on the storage, but that's because that those outdoor kitchen components are built behind there. Again, soft closed cabinet doors with the magnet latches. And there was another thing. Oh yeah, another thing with that too that I like is you can see I'm standing where the TV is at and you can see from the kitchen, you'll be able to see the TV. So obviously when you're on the stove, you won't be able to see it, but if you're doing dishes, you can pivot that TV out. If you're just sitting here eating some food or something, you can see the TV there. So I really like that as well, how you're able to see that. Couple things on the sides with an avalanche. Again, this is a 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel. So a standard fifth wheel is 96 inches wide. This is 100 inches wide, which gives you more width in here, gives you a bigger feel, allows them to do a little bit more with the floor plan designs. And then you have six foot, 10 inch slide out boxes. So this is a super tall slide out box here that you can step into easily. I don't know what the average height on a fifth wheel slide out box is because it depends on the fifth wheel, but they usually are anywhere from like 6'2 to 6'4, maybe 6'5, but this one is a six foot 10 inch slide out box. So absolutely huge. I believe it's six foot 10. It might be seven feet, but it's all I know is it's huge and I haven't actually put a tape to it, but a really big slide out box on all your slide out boxes here inside this area, giving it an even bigger feel. Um, let's go through the kitchen real quick. Look at some of the storage. We'll start with right here. You have your pantry. So in there you have your pantry space. Those shelves are probably about eight inches deep, eight to 10 inches or so. And then you have accent lighting up above there. You do have a shelf up here for some storage. Open this up and this is gonna be probably a lot of people's like coffee bar area. Put some coffee stuff up in here. You have this nice open shelf and then you have a countertop there. Back behind here, oh, I guess we got, someone left some Fritos in here for whatever reason, that's great. And you have all these that open up here. So we'll have the clips on the drawers here and then the magnet latches on the uh, cabinets. So you have those four drawers there for storage. You have a residential Samsung refrigerator. This stopper here is what's gonna keep your door closed while you're going down the road. So we'll pull that out. Pull that out, open this up here and they still have all the components in here, but you have the French doors there on this that will open up. It's going to be about an 18 cubic foot refrigerator. And then this bottom part will open up. You'll have your nice freezer drawer there. And then this sliding shelf, get that tape off. There we go. With the ice tray in here as well. So it does have an ice maker. So that'll be your fridge space. You have the wine rack up above the fridge if you do want to use that for wine. And then coming to your kitchen area, or I guess almost your island area, you have the, um, well, it's a split sink, but it has the bigger sink on the left, smaller sink on the right, stainless steel sink there. And then these are the solid surface sink covers that you have there. And then solid surface countertop as well. So these are like premium features that you're getting in a little bit lower cost, full profile fifth wheel. Open this up, you have both of your waste baskets there. And then you have pull out drawers here that are huge. These are gonna be four of them here that are all the same size. So you have all four drawers there. And then you have these that open up to shelving down underneath here. So you have your shelving space there next to the oven. Have your space down in there. Storage next to the microwave and storage up above the microwave. You're gonna have a residential size microwave. So nice big microwave space, the three burner Freerion stove. So this is something where 
you kind of see the lower price point, something like the Alpine that is the next step up from this that's a bit more expensive, is gonna have your Insignia four burner stove where this one has the Furion three burner stove with a little bit smaller oven. Still a big oven space, but not the biggest oven. And then you have big, big storage drawer down underneath here. But if this is not a concern for you, if you don't need that four burner cooktop, I don't know about y'all, but in all the cooking I've ever done in my life, I've never used four burners at one time. So this would be perfectly fine for me and I would definitely go the route of saving some money versus getting something that I don't need to paying more for it. But obviously that's up to you and now you feel about that. Um, this is the inverted outlets I was talking about outside. So you have these outlets in here with the yellow stickers that indicate that they are inverted. So you will actually be able to run those off of the battery power when that inverter is powered on. And you'll have multiple different outlets throughout here that will have those inverted outlets. Nice light fixtures up above your bar space area. And then you have to the left here, your dining room table or your dinette table. And this here can be taken out if you wanna take it out. It's just screwed into the wall right there with about 10 screws. So if you take those screws out, this table can be removed. And then lift this up, you do have storage space underneath here. And it looks like, yeah, that slides out to be your support for the leaf that'll flip down here. So you do have a leaf on the end as well. Your chairs here, I believe, also, yep, have storage in them underneath, so some extra storage down under there as well. And then this is a nice big space. I mean, if you're wanting to take this table out and put a desk here or put a sofa there or whatever it may be, lots of room there to be able to modify that into something else you want. If you just want to get a desk that you want to put in this space, very easy to do that as well. And you do have an outlet down underneath there, and looks like that's your only outlet position around that space there, but you have that outlet right there. All your TV setups here, you have your uh, Jensen sound system. This will have Bluetooth to it, and you have your speakers here pointing directly towards your recliners. Three cushion sofa, I love this because this gives you a sofa that's about five foot 10, five foot 11 in length or so, so you can lay on that, and this will pull out to a king size bed. You can see you have so much floor space here to be able to pull that in, out to a bed if you need to. But if it's just one person, a lot of times, I know if it was me, I could just sleep on that couch as it is. And it's a big enough couch to be able to do that. You have table side space on each side with wireless charging pads. So you can put your phone on there if it has wireless charging and it'll charge it up without having to plug it in. And then outlets on both sides as well. All of your windows will have these pull down blackout shades with the balances here. So this is something I point out because there's a lot of brands in the same price point that don't put balances around the windows. So what that means, like you can see it on this one, this one does not have the balances on it. So sometimes that allows the light to come through the side here. So it's not truly blacking out all the light. On your side windows here, at least you have these balances there to block out some of that light. This is the only one here that doesn't have them, which it's actually kind of strange. I don't know why that one doesn't have them, but all the other ones have the balances on the windows. You can see that on every other one around the windows all the way around. So that'll keep that light truly out having that extra blocking there for the light. Then you have your Thomas Paine recliner furniture. This will have your light, heat, and massage and USB ports on there. And then let's test out, where's the pulse cord? Let's test out if these lay back and how far they lay back. Okay, cool. They lay back a decent amount. Um, I think these were put a little closer to the wall than I would have liked, so they will lay all the way flat. They just need to be moved out just a little bit to make room by that wall. And then another thing I like, both these outlets here are inverted outlets. So that means that your chair controls here for the heat and the massage and the light will work off the solar system as well when the inverter is turned on. So that's pretty much everything out in this area. You have your, bar, or your um, benches here for the bar area. These also have storage underneath them. And then they have this nice railing in here to kind of keep them in place there. You have a US or outlet and the light switch for the LED light that's down underneath the countertop there. And that is pretty much everything in the living space area. Oh, one other thing I wanna point out as far as construction goes, you have underneath your um, flooring here, it is the same style flooring uh, for the main area in your slide out box. And then when you lift this up, See if I can find a point where I can lift it up at. There we go. Your subflooring underneath here is all wrapped. So 
So they wrap the subflooring underneath here, making sure that that wood has another layer of protection under there. That is something that a lot of brands, if you lift up their slide out flooring there, you're gonna see just exposed wood there. So I love that they wrap that there, giving it another layer of protection for that subflooring. And then all of your flooring, as far as this area goes, throughout the whole uh, base of this RV is all going to be a single piece flooring that is screwed into the frame. So that single piece flooring is going to give you the, it's gonna prevent having soft spots build up. Um, there's not gonna be any spots where there's seams in the floor, so it's seamless. And then it also is marine grade, so it's gonna have that water resistance to it as well, where water would just beat up on it if it's ever exposed to it as well. They call it uh, Dynaspan flooring, the same flooring they use in the Keystone Montana that has been highly successful, and it's a great product there in the subflooring. Going up into the bathroom and uh, bedroom space, you have both your controls for your ACs because it does have the two ACs in the living area here. And then you have all of your controls for every component on the fifth wheel here behind this glass panel there that opens up. Going into the bathroom, you have a porcelain toilet in here. It's a foot flush toilet. You have a fiberglass one piece shower with the stool in here. And this is all one piece in here, so no seams in the shower. And then it has a nice black shower head. And as I step in here, the ceiling height when I'm just in the bathroom is somewhere probably around like 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. And then when I step in the shower, I would say the ceiling height is about 6'3", to here. And then you get about another three or four inches in here. So if you're under 6'5", you're definitely gonna be able to fit in here. But it's not the largest feeling shower ever in a fifth wheel. But definitely, I mean, me being 6'2", I would feel plenty comfortable in there. My head doesn't even touch the ceiling. You have your storage underneath the sink. Nice shelving space there. Space next to the sink. Then you have your big sink all throughout here with the black faucet. It's actually a really large sink compared to some other models. And then you have your medicine cabinet storage here. Another inverted outlet in the bathroom. Then going to the bedroom, you do have a dual entrance into the bathroom, so you can go directly into the bedroom from the bathroom. You have a king size bed in here. And flip this up. You have your storage underneath the bed. It is strut assisted, so it'll stay up on its own and it's all framed out, so it looks nice and finished underneath there. And then coming to the other side, obviously you have all your wardrobe space over here. We'll get to in a second. Nice big wall space here for a TV, or you could set it on top of the countertop there as well. And you'll have four pull-out drawers here for more storage. So you have your TV hookups there and a backer location for a mount for a TV. And then next to the bed, before we get to the wardrobe storage, you do have this little shelving space there with outlets on this side. And on the other side, you have the same setup, outlets under there as well with your shelving space. You have your wardrobe space here. So you have the shelf along the top, the hanging rod all the way across, and it does go all the way through to here. However, when you open up these doors, if you want a washer dryer, this is where it would go. So you have all your washer dryer connections here. This can take a stackable washer and dryer. So this shelf would come out there and you could put the washer and dryer in this space here if you wanted. Or you could do a combo unit that would just sit below the shelving if you want to do that as well. But you have everything you need in there for the washer dryer behind these doors. And then the last thing I want to talk about in this space is your AC systems because this does have the Coleman Mach AC systems with the residential air filter. So you can see you have a MERV 9 residential air, <laughs> residential air filter behind here. So this is actually going to capture, like before what they had in RVs and what a lot of RVs still have is just like a little black foam pad if they have anything. That little black foam pad is doing nothing more than catching maybe pet hair. So this is actually gonna catch your dust and allergens and things of that nature. And this here, this can just be replaced by going to Walmart or Home Depot or anything like that because it is a residential air filter. So not only is that gonna keep your air cleaner, it's also going to keep your ducting cleaner in the RV as well. And then you have the blade AC vents that push air out in a 360 degree motion to give you more air coverage in this fifth wheel than a directional vent to help cool down the RV quicker as well. So you have a speaker in here. And then last thing I know that's important for a lot of people looking to live in an RV full time as well, is you do have a spot to hook up a Wi-Fi router, which is right up in here. So right there, you have a spot to hook up the Wi-Fi router. 
if you wanted to get Wi-Fi on here, you can get, oh, camera's freaking out there. <laughs> you can get the Wi-Fi router connected there as well. And last thing before y'all head out, the price on this Avalanche, the MSRP on it is 117. So it's gonna be right around 117 on the MSRP. Now that is not the sales price. Like I said, we have some of our best pricing going on right now. So you can go down to the link down below in the description and you can leave me your contact information. I have my RV inquiry form down there. Or if you go down to the link down below in the description, you'll be able to leave me your information. If you pick the Mesquite location, that is where I'm at, just outside of Dallas. And leave your information there something the solar panels because we don't have any batteries hooked up or making the lights go on and off there behind me definitely distracting me but anyways get back on pace here but go down to that link down below in the description select the mesquite location and leave me your contact information and that will come directly into my inbox so i can reach out to you as soon as i'm available and either get you purchasing information for this fifth wheel or set up a time with you to come take a look at it in person and like i said we have some of the best pricing going on right now and i am in a sales position so i would love to personally help you out in assisting you and helping you make this RV yours or maybe any RV that you've seen if you're trying to make a decision here. So would love to help you out. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.